Have you ever wondered if the Earth's rotation could be harnessed to generate electricity? Imagine tapping into that ceaseless motion, a cycle as old as the Earth itself. Our planet spins on its axis once every 24 hours, a consistent, reliable movement that at first glance seems ripe for energy generation. It's a concept akin to how wind turbines capture the kinetic energy from the gusting wind. But here's the rub. The Earth's rotation, while constant, is relatively slow, especially when you compare it to the fast-paced movement that conventional turbines require to generate electricity. So we're left with a conundrum. We have a source of continuous motion, but it's not quite fast enough to meet our needs with existing technology. This presents a unique challenge. How do we convert this slow but constant motion into usable energy? Just as a river's gentle flow can power a mill, could Earth's rotation be the key to a new form of renewable energy? There's no shortage of innovative ideas when it comes to renewable energy. The concept of harnessing Earth's rotation for electricity, for instance, is a fascinating one that has sparked many a scientific debate. Although the direct conversion of our planet's rotational energy into electricity is currently beyond our technological grasp, indirect methods are worth exploration. One of these potential avenues lies within the Earth's magnetic field. This field, a vast and complex system, is influenced by the planet's rotation. So, could we tap into it to generate electricity? Theoretically, yes. Imagine a device, a sort of theoretical energy harvester, placed strategically on the Earth's surface. By interacting with the magnetic field, this device could generate a tiny electric current. But how would this work, you ask? Well, the answer lies in a fundamental principle of physics known as Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This law tells us that a change in a magnetic field can induce an electric current in a circuit. So our theoretical device would need to be designed in such a way that it could interact with the Earth's magnetic field and use the resulting changes to generate an electric current. It's a fascinating concept to be sure, but it's important to remember that it's just that. A concept. This is not something that we can build and implement tomorrow. There are numerous challenges to overcome, not least of which is the fact that the electric current generated in this way would likely be very small. However, the potential is there. So while we may not be able to directly harness the Earth's rotation for electricity just yet, there are indirect methods that could, in theory, provide us with a new source of renewable energy. And even if these ideas remain purely theoretical for now, they're still incredibly valuable. They push the boundaries of our understanding, stimulate our imaginations, and inspire us to keep exploring the vast potential of renewable energy sources. While these ideas are currently just theoretical, they open up a world of possibilities for future exploration. Harnessing Earth's rotation for electricity is not without its challenges and considerations. The first obstacle we face is related to the Earth's rotational speed. It's a slow, steady spin, completing a full rotation every 24 hours. Now, when we think about conventional electricity generation, speed is a crucial factor. Rapid movement, like wind whipping through the blades of a turbine, generates power. But with the Earth's rotational speed, we're dealing with a pace that's more of a gentle twirl than a whirlwind. This slow rotation means that the energy yield would be relatively small. It's like trying to power a city with a single wind turbine on a day with only a gentle breeze. The potential output, at least with our current understanding and technology, simply doesn't match up to the demand. But let's say, hypothetically, we discovered a way to extract significant energy from the Earth's rotation. What then? Well, that poses another challenge, the unknown consequences. The Earth's rotation isn't just a phenomenon, it's a critical part of our planet's natural processes. It affects everything from the changing of the seasons to the flow of ocean currents. If we were to tap into this rotation in a significant way, we could potentially disrupt these processes. The consequences of this are largely unknown, and that's a risk we need to consider seriously. And lastly, we need to think about the practicality of this concept. Building a device that can harness the Earth's rotation for electricity would be a monumental task. It would require significant resources, time and technological advancements. And even then, the feasibility of such a project remains uncertain. These challenges remind us that while we aim to innovate, we must also consider potential impacts on our planet. As we explore new frontiers in renewable energy, it's essential to remember that our ultimate goal is not just to generate power, but to do so in a way that respects and preserves the delicate balance of our Earth.
Despite the challenges, researchers are proposing innovative approaches to overcome them. One of these is a fascinating concept that involves the creation of a conducting cylindrical shell. Now, this isn't your ordinary shell. This shell is designed to boast unique magnetic properties. It's these properties that allow the shell to interact with the Earth's magnetic field. Picture it like this. The Earth's magnetic field is like a giant invisible force field surrounding our planet. This conducting shell with its magnetic properties is like a sponge ready to absorb and interact with this force field. This interaction is where the magic happens, or rather where the electricity is generated, but how does this work? In the simplest terms, when the shell interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, it generates an electric current. This current can then be harnessed and transformed into usable electricity. It's a concept that on paper seems almost too good to be true. However, it's important to remember that this idea is still in the theoretical stage. That means we're not going to see cylindrical shells popping up all over the world just yet. The science behind it is still being explored, the mechanics are still being fine-tuned, and the potential impacts are still being studied. But that's what makes this concept so thrilling. It's a glimpse into what could be possible. It's a signpost pointing towards a future where our electricity could be generated in harmony with our planet's natural processes. It's a testament to the power of innovative thinking and the limitless potential of human creativity. These innovative approaches are more than just solutions to a problem. They are invitations to think outside the box, to push the boundaries of what we know, and to envision a world where sustainability and technological advancement go hand in hand. These innovative approaches demonstrate the limitless potential of human creativity and scientific inquiry. In any discussion about renewable energy sources, the environmental impact is a crucial aspect. As we consider harnessing the Earth's rotation to generate electricity, we need to ensure that we're not disrupting the Earth's natural balance. You see, the Earth is like a giant spinning top maintaining a delicate equilibrium. Any significant interference with its rotation could potentially have far-reaching consequences. The aim here is not to conquer nature but to coexist with it, to create a system that is both efficient and harmonious. We envision a future where our energy sources are not only sustainable and renewable but also in tune with the planet's rhythms. The goal is to generate power without causing harm, to light up our cities without dimming the stars. This is a delicate dance, a balancing act of the highest order. It's about respecting the forces that have shaped our world and using them to shape our future. As we explore these possibilities, we must always strive for harmony with our planet's ecosystems. Harnessing the Earth's rotation for electricity remains a captivating idea, even if it's largely hypothetical for now. This exploration into the potential of our planet's rotational energy has shone a light on the innovative spirit that drives scientific inquiry. It's this spirit that has led to groundbreaking discoveries and revolutionary technologies in the past. And it's this spirit that continues to push the boundaries of what we consider possible in renewable energy generation. While the practical application of this concept is not yet within our reach, the discussion itself holds immense value. It encourages us to think outside the box, to question the status quo and to continuously seek alternative sustainable energy sources.